They say that water is the driving force of all nature. But just like other parts of nature, water also attracts a good supply of idiots. Biggest one of the day, let her go. In the battle of man versus fish, the winner is... Nice and healthy. Fish. It's weird how this table balanced on a couple of oil drums didn't turn out to be unsinkable. You can learn all sorts of different techniques at this kayaking school, including how to sink with grace. Man overboard! Still, these two guys seem to have it covered, so I'll just carry on fishing. You get the feeling they may have made this journey once or twice before. Always remember to tie your anchor with a good, strong knot on both ends. Docking a jet ski is hard enough, so it's best not to try it when Mother Nature is angry. The perils of telling someone to watch the stump. Watch that stump, watch that stump. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. This guy's been at sea so long, he's forgotten what solid objects look like. Unless that kid's name is Aqua Boy, things just aren't gonna turn out great here. Hey, do you remember that boat we put on the trailer? Obviously not. Someone forgot to tell him to put that thing in park. Holy shit. These two guys are about to pull off a stunt that'll make them look like heroes. Oh, uh, sorry, I mean idiots. <laughs> Popping balloons into the sea just isn't environmentally friendly, which is why they were charged a $25,000 fine. Mother Nature won, idiots in boats zero. You wouldn't do this if you were driving a car, so maybe don't do it in a boat either. <laughs> to be fair, you probably need to press the brake pedal pretty hard on one of those things. I knew that was gonna happen. Nothing says I love you like a romantic fish slap. Spot the person who's never had sailing lessons. There's a first time for everything. And this is clearly their first time getting a boat back on the trailer. Sometimes fish need fishing rods, too. Well, this is a weird way to show everyone you've just gotten married. Yeah, you should probably drop the anchor before you hit the dock. This is why you shouldn't have your yachts delivered by FedEx. It's tradition to give the dock a goodbye scrape. Hmm, it's almost like wet sand doesn't hold things very well. If you're looking to waste one of your nine lives, careful, then drowning please. is an acceptable option. Really careful, not yet. What you're looking at is the very definition of rich people problems.
When you dance with the baddest fish in the ocean, you need to make sure your footwork is up to scratch. Yeah, it was clearly the prop that was the issue, not the two idiots. To be fair, it would have been worse if the big boat was drifting towards the small one. Oh my god. No small boat would be complete without a massive grill, floating in the water known for its alligator population. Get it. Get it. Go home, boat. You're drunk. I was like, I should not get Is this a marlin they've caught or a guided missile? When you decided to moor your boat in the car park, other boat users don't like yacht owners, and it shows. Boats get hungry too. This one decided to chew on the dock. Luckily, they didn't like that part of the boat anyway. Ah, just a relaxing spot of fishing for your own rod. Hey, look at <laughs> We're gonna take a guess and say this isn't the business class compartment. Here's someone who doesn't care about anyone or anything besides himself and his boat. In other words, he's an idiot. Surely there's a safer way to do things than this. Here's a perfect example of three calm, safe, and responsible people and their friend. This car belongs on dry land, but it can't quite get there. This guy is capable of making a day's fishing seem like a complete waste of time. If there's a law regarding drinking and boating, then this guy hasn't heard about it. And on that note, here's someone who'll do anything for a beer, even sink. The thing about water propellers is that they work best in the water. This couple clearly thinks it's fine to go 150 with no life jackets and no consideration for anyone else. Why? Because they're idiots in boats. fastest way to clean a rental boat. This is the boating equivalent of drifting around an empty car park. There's nothing like the wind in your hair and water in your lungs. When you get jealous of the fish and decide to start a new life under the sea. 
while a big cargo ship was being pulled by tugboats, idiots in a rental boat got way too close and the current slammed them into the side. It was then up to the main tugboat at the back to try and pull the cargo ship away from these idiot boaters. This poor boat is clearly exhausted. How to go absolutely nowhere at a high speed. Life experience is just not the same as sailing experience. Clearly no amount of weather or hypothermia can stop this guy from going out on his boat. When the taxpayer buys your boats, you can afford to treat them rough. Eggs aren't the only thing you can poach. And here are some illegal fishermen being caught in the act. This guy doesn't know how to control a boat, and neither does that guy. That guy, that guy, or that guy. Boat captains, why not save time by sinking early on? Frozen water is still water, right? These two guys going over the falls are firefighters who were trying to rescue two construction workers. Luckily, a helicopter was on hand to rescue all of them. Here's someone who thought this ship was a little too safe. They say a bad day of fishing beats a good day at work. They are wrong. Guess who didn't check the weather forecast that morning? It's a good thing he wasn't the designated driver. Boating at night is always slightly dangerous, and that's before your wheel falls off. on a boat, laughing at an idiot driving a boat, acting like an idiot. Oh my God! Are you kidding? Hey, those guys seem to be drowning. So let's turn up the music and dance. One of those moments when you find out how much you trust the driver. Some people should always carry buckets, even when they're on dry land. Even the cheapest bumpers should do one basic thing, stay on. These guys need help mooring, but on the other hand, it's a lot easier to just film them. It's worrying when you're overtaken by a boat, but terrifying when you realize it's yours. <laughs> Wait, if you love our videos, be sure to check out Retrocast. And if Retrocast isn't your thing, don't worry, we have another Akimbo video for you.